welcome guys i am not gonna talk too long as you know i do i get you to the point i wanted to talk real quick about uh nothing in life happens by coincidence because that's what um love and relationships are all about so welcome to the show make sure you guys uh like follow share i love the hearts make sure you subscribe because i'm giving you information that will help many with their relationship issues now the reason I put up Nothing in Life Happens uh, by coincidence is because everything that I talk about in your relationships and about love, it is so important that I give you some great topics that we're going to jump on and talk about next week and the week on. But I want to bring up some of those things that are so important that if you uh, wait and be patient and trust for love, you will meet your mate. I'm telling you, you will meet your mate. Uh, everything about love uh, is about patience. If you're already in a relationship and you you have the relationships that make you happy and give you peace and joy, then you are in the right relationship. And so what you're looking for is ways to enhance that relationship. You want to make sure that you you don't have great relationships and make sure they go to the next level. And that's what's so important about understanding about love. Okay. So now let's, let's get right into it. Now, here's what I want to talk about. Why nothing happens in coincidence is a lot of things that I'm going to work on and talk about. And some of the stuff I want to talk, you know, we're going to talk about uh, daily is um, men I got some stuff for you. How to talk your way to getting what you want. That's that's for men and women. It's about how you talk your way into getting what you want. Um, men, the main reason you need to listen to women. It's a, main, it's a really good reason that you have to listen to women. That's going to be a good topic. Um, what's your talk on sex? Now, I want to continue to talk about sex. And here's the reason I really want to talk about sex. You all do not communicate well when it comes to sex. So we've got to talk about that. And I know you guys have some questions. So I want you to make sure you send me some questions. Because um, it's about, you have to be able to have a conversation about sex. You got to talk, okay? Um, uh, how do you get addicted to uh, your per the person you like? It's a way to get addicted to somebody that you meet or or, the, or your relationship you're in. It's nothing like ooh, being addicted to somebody that gives you ooh, that good feeling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you got to you gotta really see that. Oh, it, uh, we got to really, really talk about that. Uh, one of them is I got a, a question from a follower about what's the best time to take a break from relationships? D do you take a break? On relationships what do you guys think do you take a break on relationships um, is it something you would do would you take a break from someone that you supposedly care about and then all of a sudden you decide hey we need to take a break I want to talk about that because that's a tricky question that I know <laughs> some of you guys are gonna say I don't know you know what do you mean take a break especially the women you know women can't handle that I'm, gonna talk, I'm not going to talk about that tonight unless you guys want me to because that's a good topic. I think I'm going to talk about that one uh, the next day because that's a hot one. Um, on the talks on my sex, you guys got to send me some questions now. What do you want to talk about on sex? I got one follower that sent me a message and said he want to know about sex position and stuff like grapefruit technique, uh, massage techniques, position techniques so if you want some other questions on about sex and when we get on that subject guys you know send me what else you want to know about because um some of you guys out there doing things you don't even know what you're doing <laughs> now i never personally have tried a grapefruit technique and i don't know if i you know want to be uh cutting up no grapefruit putting on somebody's okay I, we'll talk about that another time <laughs> get into that subject y'all y'all trying to pull me into some mess because y'all know i get to talking crazy so we y'all not pulling me in but 
I'm going to talk about a lot of good things that you're going to really, really like when it comes to love. Now, let me get to what happened, why uh, it's not a coincidence. Um, ha what happens and it's not, it's not a coincidence. What, what is it? Nothing happens for a coincidence. Y'all know what I'm saying. But anyway, <laughs> let me, I want to, uh, a few minutes, just uh, make a statement about that. Look. Have you ever been um, somewhere? Have you first off, let's Have you ever dreamed of something and it happens? Have you ever thought about somebody that you desire and it happened? Um, have you ever think of something so powerful and it happens? Okay. Or have you just been in a situation and it happens? Okay. Well. If it happened, whatever you thought, whatever you believe would happen, it wasn't a coincidence. You see, it's already written. See, I talk about this in one of the, I wrote a little book that explains uh, how your life is already uh, determined. And, and because of that, your dis things that you do when it comes to uh, life and love and uh, living is already written. And what we're doing in our life is that we're, we're, we're in motion to what we believe is, is what we want. And it's already written. That's why you wonder why when you want something, it doesn't happen. But if you think hard enough about something you want, you get that. It, it's, 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 it's a reason because your life is already written, right? So, when it comes to love and finding the right mate, it believe it or not, is already written. And the reason why I always say at the end of my talks, love is about peace, joy, and happiness. And I say that for a reason. People don't come into your life for to 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 bring about confrontations and confusion and drama and, and craziness. That's not what love and relationships are about. Love and relationships are about peace simple peace right so when you meet people or meet someone or in a relationship with someone of that that's not your mate so you're just on a journey of what you believe makes you happy when actuality when you meet the mate and if you have met that mate that makes you happy it's nothing else like it and I tell you that because, and I'm going to talk about that. That's going to be one of my talks I'm going to talk about as well. And it's about the difference of being in love and loving someone. And what happens is some people believe that they can love many. And that's true. But the reality is you can only be in love with one at a time and truly be in love. And when you are truly in love, no one else matters. When they truly in love with you, it's in sync. And when it's in sync, it's not a coincidence. It was supposed to be. You understand? And so the, the, the point I'm saying to you, and the reason why I talk about paying attention and focusing and paying attention to who comes into your life, not only has a lot to do with relationship, it has a lot to do with your life. Because people can take you off your journey. And if you get taken off your journey, which I call staying on your path, if you get taken off your path, you will go through more trials and tribulations. Everybody go through the storm because they're not paying attention to who's around them and within their life. And this is why they go through the situations. But guess what? Because things don't happen by just happening, it only happens because you weren't paying attention. It only happens because you weren't listening. It only happens because you're not paying attention to what is supposed to be for you. You can't force something for you. What's going to be for you is going to be for you. That's why you have to be patient. And I'm saying that because I believe I met my mate. I don't know if he know it, but I met my mate. Okay, but I can't, I have to wait 
until he's ready for me. And so I have to go on and continue and live life, but I have to keep that space kind of open because I know he already see me because he's seen me. You see what I mean? And so because he's seen me, I have to wait and I have to be patient. So what I, so the reason I'm saying this to you guys is that everything you you you're looking for when it comes to love, everything you desire and want from love is already out there and seeking you. And that person that you're desiring and that that person that you want already exists if that's what you want and if that's what's supposed to be for you. Cuz everybody is not supposed to have someone, but believe it or not, most people do and will and should have someone that will love them, desire them, and want to be a part of their life forever. So, guys, I hope that the information I gave you will help you out. Um, I don't want to hold you too long because I know we're out here doing our thing. But I, you know, I wanted to talk about that real quick because things that go on around us and we just don't pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention, guys. I'm telling you, if you just do that, you'll bring about love, peace, and joy, and happiness in your life. And you will meet the true mate that's for you. Because only true love is only delayed. It's just delayed. So stop being with people that take you through changes. Stop being with people that are not for you. Stop being with people that is not, that's not going to love you the way you should be loved. 